first dish that I'm going to show you are lentil tacos. Lentils are just dried, I don't know if these are beans. I don't know what a lentil is. Uh, maybe lentils are their own thing. Anyway, we're going to substitute the meat in our tacos with this these lentils. I found this package on Amazon. They are just sprouted. This is a combination of green, brown, and black lentils. I'm just gonna cook it according to the package directions. For those of you that are new, my name is Marissa, also known as Homemaking with Marissa on YouTube as well as on Instagram. In my area, I live in Oregon, we are having trouble finding certain cuts of meat. You can't really be particular about what type of meat you want and they're putting limitations on how many packages of meat you can buy at any one time at the grocery store. My husband and I used to be vegan, we were vegan for I think a little bit over a year. And we had several recipes during that time that we would eat as a family. While our lentils are cooking, I've just arranged our taco shells onto a tray that I will pop into the oven just to reheat. I'm going to assemble our taco toppings. I am just grating up some aged white cheddar cheese. If you're wanting to make these vegan, you would obviously omit that. I'm also going to slice up, I had some onion that was already sliced, I'm just going to slice up some cilantro and some lettuce for our tacos. For those of you that don't know, I am a wife and mother to three children ranging in age from 3 to 15 years old. I primarily share lifestyle videos here on YouTube, things like cooking and cleaning motivation, but I do periodically share tips for working moms, parenting tips, as well as financial or beauty advice. If this is something that you're interested in, I would love it if you would join my little YouTube community by subscribing to my channel. I'm going to move on by just draining these lentils before I remove them from the strainer, put them back into the pot, and then I'm just going to add some taco seasoning. This particular taco seasoning does have dairy in it, so if that's something that is a limitation in your family, you'll just want to be mindful of that. I do have one child with a dairy allergy, however, he can have trace amounts of dairy periodically. In fact, it's encouraged by his doctor that occasionally we try to give him foods that do have dairy in it. So I, I don't worry about things like taco seasoning that have a small amount of dairy in it. I'm just going to add the seasoning to our lentils and then stir them around in the pot and try to break up the lentils a little. I'll then just assemble the tacos like you would if you were using any sort of ground beef or ground turkey. I'll just put the lentils in the bottom and then whatever toppings you like. I am just doing lettuce, cilantro, cheese, onion, and some salsa. These tacos are really good. My kids are a little bit picky periodically and they will eat these without any complaint. I think that because you are putting the taco seasoning on them, they don't really notice that it's not meat that is in the tacos. It just, in my opinion, this just tastes like a regular taco.
Tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making potato soup in the Instant Pot. I have this large baking potato and then these four mini finger leaf potatoes. I'm just gonna remove the skin from this potato and then quarter these potatoes and put them in the bottom of our Instant Pot. I'm also going to be adding one liter of homemade chicken broth. This is something that anytime I have vegetable scraps, I will turn them into a broth. So I just keep them in a bag in my freezer and I turn them into homemade broth. I will link in a card above how I make my broth. If you don't have homemade broth, I would just use a box of store-bought broth. Just gonna peel this potato. And for those of you that have watched my videos for a while and have seen me struggling on my tiny cutting board, I have a friend that was watching one of my videos where I was talking about how my cutting board was really tiny. So she's so sweet. She went to Costco and bought me this three pack of cutting boards and dropped them off on my front porch. So shout out to her. If you're new to my channel, my name is Marissa, also known as Homemaking with Marissa on YouTube as well as on Instagram. I am a wife and mother to three children and post lifestyle videos four days a week here on YouTube. I just pulled this broth out this morning, so it's still a little bit frozen. I'm gonna dump it into our Instant Pot with our potatoes. Add this bag. I'm not gonna add the whole bag. I'm gonna add about half. Anytime I have carrots and celery and onion that are about to go bad, I just keep them in this bag that's in my freezer for things like soups. Next, I'm gonna squirt in some garlic. My store for a long time was out of fresh garlic. So, I bought just these tubes. That's about a tablespoon of this tube of garlic. Then I'm gonna add, I have about a quarter of a bag of this corn that comes from Trader Joe's left. I'm gonna put that in here as well. For our seasonings, I'm gonna add some garlic powder. I don't really measure my seasonings. I just sprinkle them on the top. I'm going to add a bay leaf. And I'm gonna add this vegan chickenless seasoning salt. Because my broth is not salted, I'm gonna use quite a bit of this. I wouldn't use as much if I was using a salted broth. I realized that angle was kind of terrible, that the Instant Pot wasn't really in the frame the entire time I was filming that. So there are our potatoes in here, our broth is in the bottom, and then I've added the half of a bag of chopped celery, onions, and carrots, some garlic that was just in a tube, a bay leaf, about half of a bag of frozen corn, and then I've added the garlic powder and the vegan chickenless seasoning. I'm just going to put the lid on our Instant Pot and then press the soup button, which will cook our soup for 30 minutes. Here is what your soup will look like after the 30 minutes. I'm just gonna add one cup of this almond milk we're keeping this soup dairy free. If you don't have dairy restrictions in your family, then I would use half and half. Just going to add one cup of this almond milk and mix it up. For the members of my household that can have dairy, we're just going to put some of this aged white sharp cheddar cheese on top. I'm also going to cut up these green onions. Here's what our soup looks like when it's all plated up.
Tonight for dinner, I am making rice bowls. This isn't really a recipe. It's more of just a bowl full of a bunch of different ingredients. Uh, we make these all the time. This is one of my standby recipes that make it on our rotation at least once every two weeks. For our sauces, we'll do enchilada sauce, taco sauce, some lime. Sometimes I have fresh limes in my house. I don't currently. For our toppings, we'll do these pepperoncinis, chop up some bell pepper, chop up some onion. For the members of my household that can have dairy, I'll just grate up some of this white sharp cheddar, olives, salsa, pinto beans, and then I'll, we'll also chop up some lettuce and some cilantro. I will put these out, all of these different ingredients, and basically whatever you want on your bowl, you can go ahead and add. Here is what our bowl looks like once it's been assembled. We have rice on the bottom, pinto beans, some orange bell pepper, olives, some white cheddar cheese, cilantro, lime juice, salsa, one of these pepperoncinis, and then I'm serving it with some tortilla chips on the side. If I had avocado, I would put that on here as well. lime juice on it and then I'm serving it with some t potato chips. If I had they're not potato chips, the tortilla <laughs> chips. Ah! No. Oh, salsa has some lime juice on it. Here is do it? No. Nope. Here is what our bowl looks like when it's assembled. We have some rice, we have some pinto beans, a little bit of white cheddar cheese, some olives, a little bit of salsa, some tortilla chips on the top here. Sometimes it's nice to just dip the tortilla chips into the meal and take a nice bite. And a pepperoncini. I like to just bite the tip off, suck the juice out, and then eat the rest <laughs> of the pepper. Nailed it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face on the right side of the screen. And if you would like to watch an additional video that I have filmed, I have one for you on the left side of your screen. I hope that you are all staying happy and healthy. Bye!